Hello friends, welcome. I am Amanda. I am a silver leader with Young Living and I am here to show you how to enroll a member. I am going to share my screen with you here quickly. I'm gonna walk you right through step-by-step step how to get that done. So that if you have a friend or family member that is interested in these products and you wanna share, share it with them, you will know what to do. Okay, so hopefully you can see my whole screen. Um, you just go to youngliving.com and then what you're gonna see is up here in the top right corner, if your screen is wide enough, let's just make this a little more narrow. If your screen looks a little bit more narrow like this, what you're gonna have to do is click on the little stack there. I'm just gonna make my screen wider again so we can see everything properly. And I'm gonna click on become a member. Now that is gonna take us to the sign up page and you're gonna have two options here. First, you're gonna have member or retail customer. Now it's very rare that we sign anyone up as a retail customer here in Canada because we have the option to sign them up with virtually any products. Now the premium starter kit is absolutely the best way to get started because it's the only thing that Young Living sells for half price and if you're getting the oil kit, it gives you a whole set of oils that's gonna give you something to use for whatever you're going to encounter. So it's like having your little oily medicine cabinet, so to speak. Um, now, what you do here, so every, we want everybody to have the best deal. I'm a deal person, so I really, emphasize to people how good of a deal the starter kit is because I don't want anybody missing out on that deal. They can decide what they, which route they want to go, but I just have to make sure that they know. And then down the road, when they're a member, they can order other products and save 24% on all of those products. So we just leave this box checked. And in Canada, we would ensure that this says Canada and English. Now, if you're elsewhere in the world, you can just click on this downward or down arrow and you can scroll through and find the country that you want to choose and select it. Now I've gone ahead and messed that up. So I'm gonna choose Canada again and I'm gonna choose the language. And then I'm gonna choose, I was referred by a member and I have their ID numbers. So this is where you would put in your member number in both of these spots to ensure that you get the, the commissions and the, the thank you check from Young Living just for sharing the oily goodness with your friends or family. Okay, so next it's gonna take us to a screen where we're gonna choose the products that they want to order. Now, first of all, we have our premium starter kits. That is the first section. Or um, if you would like to start your members on a rewards program, which I'll explain a little bit more of in a bit. You can choose, choose the products in here that they want to start with. So you could customize their products, you can select one of, their, one of the premium starter kits, or you could start them on one of the two um, Thieves Essential Rewards collections. Okay, so I like to start my members out on the rewards program so that, and as long as they're ordering more than 100 PV, so that they can get the promo oil for that month. So they're gonna get a bonus oil right off the bat. I don't like to leave any freebies on the table, so I want my members to take full advantage of all of that. Also, when they do that, um, they are taking care of the first month um, towards their free diffuser promo. So if you order 100 PV, the first three months that you're on Essential Rewards, Young Living is going to give you a free Dewdrop diffuser. So there's that. And there's also other amazing um, freebies and um, incentives for being in the Essential Rewards program. So I like to start all of my members out on that. And then I contact them in a couple of weeks to make sure um, that they want to continue. And if they don't, then we let Young Living know that. So what I've gone ahead and done is clicked on the starter kits under Essential Rewards. And I'm just gonna add one to my order. So I clicked on that and then I click save monthly order and it's gonna take me back to the other screen. So what I did to do that is I clicked here, then I clicked premium starter kits, and then I clicked the oil starter kit. 
Okay, so I have that checked off. Then next I have to confirm, yes, add the selected essential rewards kit to my membership order. Then if there's any other products that you wanna to add to their order, maybe they wanna add a V6 um, oil for diluting, or maybe there's a couple extra oils or a thieves cleaner that they would like to add to their initial order. This is where you can click on, click right here and add the ex extra products to the order. And then we're gonna go ahead and click next. So on this screen, it's gonna take us through and collect all of their information. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, enter this in. This isn't a real person. Um. Someone has already used this. Okay. That address is taken also. Okay, so what I've gone ahead and done is I've put in their name, their address, um, now this would be their main mailing address, and later if they say live on a farm, but they would like their order to go to a street address um, for quicker shipping, then we can also add in a shipping address in, a, in addition. Then you, we put in um, their email address, confirm it, and add their phone number. Now when I enter in the, the username, what I usually do is I use the, try the first initial and the last name, I'm assuming that that is going to be taken. So we're gonna try, nope, that name is already taken. So then I'll go change to one. Nope, that's taken. Jane to three, okay. And then for the password, I will put in their last name and then a series of numbers. Typically I only have to put in one, two, three, either one or one, two, three, four, um, depending on the length of the name. Okay, and the PIN number I always use as the last four digits of their phone number so that it's easy for me to help them if they were to forget what it was. Now, the password they're going to use with their member number to log into the virtual office and the PIN number they're going to use when they contact Young Living to ask for assistance and different things. Then we're gonna scroll down. I just leave this tax information. Um, that can be filled out later if the person decides to do the business at some point. And then I'm going to click have read the and agree to the terms and conditions. Okay, then we click over here on the bottom right, agree and continue. And it's going to take us to the shipping screen. Now this is the place where if there was a different shipping address, um, say this was a PO box and they wanted it sent to an street address, you would click here and enter in the different shipping address. Now we're just going to go ahead and choose the same and we're going to click on the drop down menu and choose our shipping options. You can see that there's many different options here and it'll give you the price so that you can make an informed decision based on how fast and how much money you want to spend. And down here, whoops, down here at the bottom, you'll see there is Will Call Calgary in Toronto. If your member is wanting to pick up their order at the Calgary Will Call office or the Toronto Will Call, I think it's actually the Toronto Young Living Experience Center now, um, they can do so and they don't have to pay any shipping. Now you have to make sure that they're gonna pick it up within five days or it will ship out or the order will cancel. Just keep that in mind. I really like in my area to choose FedEx Canada Ground. It's usually the most inexpensive and it's very quick and reliable. So I'm gonna choose that and then I'm going to go ahead and enter some card information here. Now, um, what you can either do is pay by Visa or MasterCard. Um, it does accept some Visa debit cards from Canadian banks or you can also use PayPal. So I am just going to go ahead and um, pause this recording so I can enter in the payment information without um, 
it being seen. Okay, so I've gone ahead and entered in the card number and then I clicked next and it has taken me to this enrollment summary screen. So I'm just gonna clo very closely look this over. Yes, wholesale member, uh, leader and sponsor, enroller and sponsor. Um, personal information, the person's name, email address, phone number, and primary address, and the shipping and billing information. So we've got um, the shipping method, the payment information, and the shipping address. Then we'll scroll down and see, hmm. interesting, okay. So we see the premium starter kit, we see the um, promo item, and I'm not really sure what this promo item here is, but if the person's gonna get something extra, then that is a bonus. Then we're gonna look over here on the right. We're gonna look at the total, make sure that everything is straight over here. So we've got the subtotal, the shipping, and the tax. And then we have the PV total. Now this is where if our members are wanting to go for a certain promo um, item level, we would wanna look at that and make sure, especially for the free diffuser promo, we wanna make sure that this is at 100 PV. Then um, the payment information is gonna go, the total and where it's gonna be paid is gonna be right there. Now if you've earned any kind of promo or voucher, this is where you're gonna type in the number right here. You're gonna type that and um, click apply and it's gonna remove that amount, say $20 or so, $20 is a common voucher amount that we can earn um, from your living from time to time and it will take that off that total. Then what we're gonna do is click activate and place the order and it's gonna take us to the confirmation screen. Now I don't wanna place this order, um, so I'm just gonna leave it at that, but you do wanna make sure you click activate and place order and then it will take you to the confirmation screen. And that is all that there is to enrolling a member. Now once you have that all completed, you want to go into my profile and make sure you make a note of their member number so that you can give that to them for logging in purposes. So they will use their member number and their password and they can log in to edit any future orders or just have a look around and look at the learning resources and all of that kind of stuff. So thank you for joining me today and I hope that you find that a little bit helpful in helping your members to get set up with Young Living.